defense PR. So that's what's been keeping me busy on the law. So I definitely figured, yeah, if I want to come back to showbiz, showbiz is in Yamabazu, no, no. So Mabazu, uh, video, four tau, five tau, like dollars, yeah. We're talking dollars, eh? <laughs> $4,000, dollars you get a, at least a video that makes sense in the Kenyan scene or in the international scene. It's busy at finding Goma just for Kenyans, you know? So we find Goma East Africans and Africa at large. So I said, let me get myself financially stable. Let me hook up something that at least uh, on the background will be helping me uh, keep it done a game. So I started a PR company and it was Centerpiece. Na ikona a wing or a wing of events called Huela. So we've been working with Centerpiece and Huela uh, with uh, several clients to at least get them out there. This all the skill I, I got them from showbiz anyway. So so it's quid pro quo, maybe in a showbiz plus Ibiana. So in good time, you're going to see Kita C back. You have talked about how music has changed uh, from investment. Right now, you really have to invest in your music. So you can talk about like other things that you have noticed in the industry that maybe when you started out, you were there, and right now you can see the changes that they are there. Uh, uh, what I figured out um, when I'm coming back, you know I'm coming back, right? I hope you know I'm coming back. So what I've figured out the difference, eh? Uh, yeah. There's Tandao. Tandao, same, same internet. Yeah, if, when, when I was releasing Narudi Ocha like 10 years ago, there was no internet. So we used, we used to push our music manually. So we used to push our stuff manually. I used to, ha I had, I used to have to hand over a DJ my CD one-on-one. Mm -hmm. -on -one. I used to have to go to a citizen and give out my CD. Right now, we just do a link and it's on. The distribution had to be like, it was manual labor. It was like to make it at that point. And, and even for your song to come a hit, yeah? What happened is you used to have a situation where everybody had to listen to your song at least once, twice or thrice and like it for it to become a hit. Yeah, right now things are going viral. Oh, Twitter is going viral there. The trending here. So that situation, that online situation has really, really helped artists break through. Right now, you don't even need so much money in terms of marketing. You just have to have a knowledge of how to manipulate the digital marketing space. So if you know how to market the digital, like if you know how to market your product in the digital space, then you you can be a star. In fact, people are becoming stars without even music. Look at Asiad. Yeah. Yeah. We have people call, calling themselves TikTok stars. You guys. Yeah. So right now the avenue has been, has been really open. And, and uh, I think that's the big difference that has happened between our time and now. Yeah. You, you yeah, were yeah. signed up. No? Yeah? You were signed at Cali. Yes. Yes. I was, I was assigned artist. I was one of the last. Was one of the last signed artists in Cali, by the way. Yeah, so you you know in Kenyan music, people really remember your era, Cali, Ogopa, yeah. guys also yeah. remember Grandpa. So I just want to ask you, mm. like, which mm. formula do you guys use? Because like almost every song from Cali was hit. So how how did you guys? Which formula did you use? I won't even lie to you. In Cali, it was the first formula was discipline. Yeah, I believe it or not. Yeah, got na kawa kora sana and everything. But believe it or not, yo atuko ata wingi actually you notice atuko ma artist wingi. Kwa unesa isabu atuko more than ten. Eranzima, Eranzima ya Cali atuko more than ten. No na kwanza no nini all the way to Mimi. Yeah, atuko wingi. So it was a matter of discipline. So discipline ya kwanza a song. You had to get your songs printed in a CD. So we used to get a lot of CDs printed. Yeah, then we used to have my you used to try your best to have a database, eh? A database of all the DJs. Yeah, so that's the first connect. You get a database of all the DJs that matter. 
So Khalif used to have that. So you take your CD round for all these DJs. Another thing we used to go, there was, at that point, there was Matatus, they were playing music and uh, the street DJs were used to, used to oh, remember the street mixes? The street mixes, like in a DJ Reza, if you can remember, DJ Kalonje, if you remember. Yeah, you had to have them on your pocket, bro. <laughs> if they are your friends, at least you have a chance somehow, yeah, in the game, eh? So we used to have Akina Kalonji in the mix, Akina, Akina, Akina DJ Reza. Yeah, and, and people like DJ Cream, Cream also on TV, k Tricks. So you used to make sure that the DJs that matter uh, are, are messing with you. I can't use the other word. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you used to at least make sure all the DJs have your music because a lot of music, a lot of Kenyan music, Ogopa, Khalif, and Grandpa used to be club bangers. So we used to use that club banger route and you make sure you have, uh, at least you have, you have that DJ database. So, and then, and the other thing, your, your music had to be very catchy before even you get your song to be released. You had to pass all those criteria. If you, are you, are you an artist that look for formidable? If you notice, uh, it was not easy to get, uh, an artist from Kalif or Ogopa that was a one hit wonder. There was no one hit wonder because before you release a song, there had to be a database. You are, you are thinking of how, what's the comeback? Like you're, you're doing this hit, this is a hit. What is the, what's the comeback song from that? Yeah. So we, uh, by the time I released Narudi Ocha, I had, had like four songs on this, on the line waiting to get. So it was a lot of structure, I'll tell you for sure. And even before you get to release that one song, a lot of structural, uh, designs are going through before you are put out on the market. Yeah. We have seen nowadays uh, artists uh, when they're leaving labels in a Kwani Mantu, Sijui Ulini Tumia, Sijui Nini, label. So, like, did you have a proper, because like you started a long time ago, did you have? A proper agreement in a I'm talking Kalif Namatusi, Nini to come Ah, 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 Kuna Chayo. Kalif, by the way, I don't lie to you. It was not like at the contract to make a chini to make a dikiana. No, in Kwani contract to make a kizan, ele to make a galian and a claim on my chopper mat. Niaji, Rafanye Kazi, poor. Rafanye Shiba, poor. Rafanye Vinay, poor. Kopo and Bakapo, poor. Just as soon as Kiaj and Bakapa. Kosawa, eh, that's how we used to work. It was, it was a gentleman's agreement and uh, there was a lot of respect going on. Unona, unona baka meja baka sahi, unona anafanya nini, ana big up gang, ana big up kali. You understand? There was a lot of me, at a, when I went on the law, they got a call from Clemo like one month ago, juzi juzi. You know, they are, they're asking me what's my plan, am I coming back? They are interested in knowing I'm coming back. So it, it was fast friendship. Yeah, in Cali, it was friendship first. Because a contract is just a paper. You know, I can decide to breach the contract, I can decide to tear that paper down. Understand? And that will be that. Yeah, and that will be that. So, yeah, you, we've seen a lot of artists tear down these contracts, and, and it's null and void at the end of the day. Not sure. if, if I'm a party and I'm not happy with that contract, then I'm going I'm to bounce out of it. Okay? So in Khalif, it was just mutual respect. At least you understand, will this guy help you? You say, yes, he will. Will this guy give me what I want? Yes. Do I like being here? Yes. Uh, is the trajectory of towards my success being achievable or is it achieved or where am I heading? If you agree, yes. So it was a matter of, you know, when I'm a swing in a Khalif, I'm going to go big up Khalif, I'm one time Khalif Tarudi. That's it. Yeah. And then, like you guys started doing gang, and then it has over the years it has metamorphosized. Right now, sasa kuna genge ton au vijana ani wa meonesho moto. Yani many industry players yani ili kwani kama they didn't like this sound, so you Willem liantisha hiyo sound na mnaona hadi sahi a new generation has Mimeme taken to, over uh, uh, yani nyi mna feel aje uh, I won't lie to you when I see the gang at all we see it as our children eh? 
and you see Genge Tony, we see it as our children. So I won't lie to you. We are proud because uh, the music industry did not start with Genge. You know, there was Kapuka, there was Ted Josiah there, there was Johari Clef, there was Bruce Odiambo. Bruce Odiambo is the one who brought Akina, Akina Samawati. You remember Akina Samawati, Akina Bamboo, Nona Akina Bamboo, Akina Masimaira, that era, Nona. There was, there, was a, there was an era that came before everybody. Then there's the Ted Josiah that came in with Akina Kalamashaka and Akina Waire. Then there was Ogopa that came in after. And then there was Caliph. So of all these of all these people who started, of all these starters, uh, Caliph is the one that at least brought a baby back to the parents, you know. <laughs> you know, so out of Genge, we, we, we got Genge Tone. So from Genge Tone, we are happy, we know at least at a hip hop, hip hop cinemote in metamorphosis marakada, yeah. na G funk, Gani, Crank. Crank, yeah. Eh, crank, iko trap, sai. Onelewa? Eh, hey, natoka yeah. trap, inenda kwa ingine, inye pop smoke. Iya pop smoke, inituwa nini, iya pop smoke. Drill. Eh. Drill. Drill, eh, hey, whatever, hiyo. <laughs> Unawana, that, that, that is the even yo, that, okay. Wahenga wanasema, if it's not growing, it's dying most definitely dying. So you see, for Genge now, now that we have Genge Tone, we know Kutakona mtoto wa Genge Tone very, very soon. Nona, nasi tukwa masho show your time. Say we are just parents. But that other time tukwa, tukwa my grandparents. So it's a, it's a very proud moment to see Akina, actually someone like uh, this guy called Akina Ethics. Ethics, uh, Reckless. Reckless was my neighbor. Reckless look at Naka Flat Moja. Kwa kini ona tu. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So Akina Reckless, let me tell you, even Akina Nani, Akina, this guy, they're my friends also. This other guy is um, Bogi Genje. Bogi Genje are my neighbors. Wow, my neighbors, they've seen me. Understand? So it is for real, for real, like you query our toy while you want to grow up, while you want to get a wakatamani kuifanya. Now me fanya, now at least omerudisha mkono. Even though at least, shukrani yangu ni that, at least they remembered who inspired them and I, that they chose Gengeton. It's even huge for us. No, no, wange chagwa kuita jine ingine. No, no, because as, uh, sisi kama Kenyans, we normally this our own. No, no, so them they came and them they did not think that they need to this what brought them on. So to me, I'm a proud father. So I'm, I'm happy for what, what, what they are doing. And I'm, I'm asking Kenyans to please support them, give them a hand, help them. No, no, here, when you look at Kiboko, you know, when Kiboko, I'm to Tom Koro, I'm to Tom Koro, like he said, you know, to form Toto. No, no, hey, let's just help them, let's, let's give them a hand, let's guide them, let's protect them also, let's protect them, come out our children, no, no, hey, and there are proof that the Kenyan industry has not died. Anyone who's out there saying that the industry has died is, is the one who's dead actually because he's. Yeah, and you could dead because my beer is your number. One can say, My Lena Macho and be Tazama, Sindio. Hey, yeah. so if, if you have eyes, you gotta look. If you, if, you, if you can't look, then you're the one who's dead on your own self. And you need to stay woke and see these things happening, you know. This, this new crop of artists, uh, I don't know if you have got a chance to interact with them, but do you think from Yani to Wewe Kulinkana na Vile Unawana, do you think? They are going to take uh, Kenyan music yani, to the next level. Yani. Uh, I, I'll speak my honest truth. Uh, to be honest, I think, yes, they will. They will because they, they've, they've, they've witnessed, when we were starting, we did not see any stars. We were the, our own stars. We were the first ones. You understand? Before us, there were no stars. Like 
like me I could just see my peers I could see nameless I could see major I could see Joakali these are my age mates age group you know, understand ni era moja unaona but before us before kina nameless uh, there were no there's no other crop of superstars understand it's like it started yeah. with us no no from around 2000 there you know unajua tukianza kuongea about kleptomania they are they are our peers no no tukianza kuongea ni my age mates wetu age group yetu you understand before that our, we have not seen we were our first we were trial and error everything we were doing we didn't know we were trying it out them at least now they have a chance to have seen how akina kitasi conducted themselves akina ukonko akina everybody how we conducted ourselves they know the right from the wrong they know how kitasi went wrong here they know how wahu went wrong there they know how our money went wrong there they know where to go and where not to go so with that knowledge they can use that knowledge to transform their status and take it to the next level you understand yeah so i believe in them i know the gangeton will take it to the next level i know they will because they have a blueprint we gave them a blueprint you know like from us they've seen nameless from noya to getting endorsed to having his own house to having his own car they've seen joakali from noya to having his own house to having his own car the story unajua una umeona watu wa kiget ma millions ama una calligrapher kianza akipata do unaona wamemuona get endorsed akikuwa kwa billboard so they must i think they will see it and they will try to be better than what they've seen before so there's a blueprint so they'll do better that's what i'm saying there is a talk right now in the industry that wase wanasema ati kenyan artist uh, our jewish showbiz in zile za kukumbuka rezo aliingia chaguo latini zinachopa ka unaweza kumbuka so eh So, Ata mwenye unaona usha disagree. Unaona wewe already usha disagree. Wacha ni imagine mtu anasema Kenya na Africa tujue showbiz. Na tumetoka Shin tumetoka Shin City saa hii. Hiyo Shin City ilikuwaaje? Hiyo Shin City silikuwa kali hata kushindile show ya wasafi. Unakumbuka yeah. show ya wasafi ilikuwa pale juu pale uru 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 garden. Eh na ikumbuka. Unaikumbuka? Aya compare na Shin City. Compare. Compare. Unajua watu wangu tu kweli. Ah? Yeah yeah. Sisi 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 likali. Mm. Imeichoma. Hata mpaka tano utiliichoma. Kwa sababu hata hata utile Brown yani he has said how Nyashinski seem say wa showbiz lakini show ilijaa. Unaona? Ndio. So unajua nini? Hata kwambie one thing about us Kenyans. We have to remember that we also realists. Still was our real. Unaona? Asa Kenya akongi wasa kuchocha. Mzee kwambie kama ni best yako. Best yako kwambie nimekutoka. Wale ni kutoka. <laughs> eh kiki, kiki si tabia yetu. We not that fake as Kenyans. Unaona? Kenyans kama tupendi kitu, roho safi, unajua tupendangi. Unaona? Kati cha gwi mse tunambafua. Umeona umeona hizo some nominations. Wasa una bafu kweli. <laughs> Ukweli? So as Kenyans tunakonga sio real. Hatuna ngi hizi makiki kiki, uh, real fake love. Hatuna ngi fake love like even what i know even as far as the industry is concerned atuta danganya danganya wa kenyans as as far as what we are doing in the industry unaelewa so we can't fly to kenyans as far as what we are doing in the industry so if if what one expects to kwenezi makiki mauongo ati oh nyasha meoa kesho ajaoa kume ni ngoma za vitu zinachokesha ama una zinakubamba zinabo si kama kenyans are free those are not things we are used to hakuna nameless akitoa hizo mahiti zake alikuangana chocha kweli sisi kwa zinaanguka eh mm. jua kale kitu hizo hit alikuwa na alikuwa anafanya kiki kweli sisi kwa zinaanguka <laughs> na zinaanguka na zina take over east africa mzima understand this this yeah. this new crop of internet artists need to go back to the drawing board because these kikis are going to end nona there's a time where the the real content the creative the original content will be king and it's going it's coming because everybody now will have access to content and you will not be able to fake views fake like fake anything because the you know everything youtube was was trying out uh, instagram was trying out twitter was trying out and they are edging out all these people that have bots our to auto kona ma fake likes or ma fake views they're being edged out and they're being flagged down all your channels you understand so an 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 era of authenticity is coming around you get me 
And if this error is coming around, then it means that hizi makiki kiki mingi, unajaribu kutrend, una fake story ndio trend. Ah, authenticity is, come, is coming to catch up with you. If you're an artist, you think you're going to lie, because me, I'm not lying. Me, I'm coming back. No, no. This, these are very few interviews I'm doing right now in preparation of my comeback. Understand? So you see, Kiki, I'm here for real, for real. You understand? And that is yeah. the era that's coming up. That's the era that's coming up, an era of authenticity. Where are you? Where are your likes? Are these real likes? Are these real views? Who are you? What's your content? Is this real content? Have you stolen this content? So this era of trending is coming to an end. So if, if you're an artist and you're listening to me, I, I ask you or I urge you to stay braced. Yeah, Jipange na content yako kwa more original, that's what's going to take you to the next level. We, we are still talking about uh, these new crop of artists. So umesema, mm -hmm. we, do you think some artists are not doing their groundwork? Juu kama we unasema mlikuwa mnaenda na CD kweli unapatia msewa mat. Sa maybe ulikuwa unapata mm. iyo, what is it called, mm. like feedback directly. Feedback direct. Do you, uh... do you think uh, kuna ma artist wanaishi tu kwa internet, they do not know what the ground really wants from them? Sindi ondo ma artist, in the, in the long run, uh, they will feel like they've lost. You understand, eh? In the long run, they will feel like they've lost. Why? Because you, you're, you're, you're looking at your video, you probably have 200K views, uh, maybe you trended when you released it. Uh, when or uh, whatever, whatever, like you put a hype kidogo, you got some likes here and there. No, no, you get you got some some views here and there. So you thought your song was a hit. Then after one month, you see the song is not growing anymore. The song is not played anywhere anymore. You're not being tagged. You're not being called for anything anymore. You wonder where did they go wrong? Because of the groundwork. Understand? Yeah, you, you need to make it your initiative. Let me tell you, you should look at uh, the artists in Kenya right now, should look at the artists. Maju, artists where you are, Wangali Asana. Akina Omavio Nani, one end of interviews, one end of ground, one end of activate Izima project Zao, Ziko for ground, one of your billboards, one of your killer kitu. It's called traditional marketing, yeah? This digital marketing, this is the digital era. But this, the traditional marketing will not go anywhere because we are physically here as humans. We don't belong on the internet. How many times are you on the internet in a day? You know, when you eat, are you in the internet? Are you still eating with your internet on? No, you see, no. your phone is down and you're eating, your real life, you know? You're still switching on your TV, right? So what's going on on your, on your TV? You know, you're not on YouTube from 24 hours, from day to morning, you understand? You're not, yeah. you're not. Yeah, you how for Instagram kutoka subui mpaka subui. You're not. There's the real life that exists away from the internet. There's the internet and then there's the real life. So if you're an artist, you need to segregate the two. You need to know that your music to play in the club, you will not go to Twitter to see what's trending. You'll have to have your physical CD or have a link or something for you for your music to at least play in the clubs. Understand? Or you, you have to have a formula that your song can be a hit so that they go looking for it. That is called, it's called, uh, there's push marketing and there's pull marketing. Now, now it's for them now to do pull marketing. Pull marketing is when, when your products, product in a butawatu done, product account in a butawatu. Push marketing is what we used to do. We used to take our product to the people. Understand? So pull marketing is you take your product to let your product pull the people to you. So if you've mastered that art of pulling people, like what Akina Major did with Akina Aziad, eh? you saw the way Akina, that Aziad situation, yeah. that's pull marketing. Yeah, yeah, that's pull marketing. So if your song does not become a, a TikTok hit, man, no, no. So like, like, game too, Lazmo, you understand. Come out of the pull marketing, then you have to, maybe Lazmo trend for TikTok, maybe trend for YouTube. No, no, that is pull marketing because it's trending. No, no. Maybe trend kwa Twitter, kwa Twitter, like this trend one day. Trend one day, Miss Zengia miss Twitter leo. So, it may hurt her. So, the, the idea of pool marketing is not that easy, also. It's also not cheap. It's expensive, also. So, here you have to on ground marketing, you push marketing, you mean traditional marketing. When you particular DJ, 
at least kama song yako ni kali na kila DJ Kenya icheze kwa club zao uko na chance unaona so at least ni chanua mtu at least mtu mtu mwenye anisikia hapo amechanuka because <laughs> that's the only way you understand yeah otherwise yeah. the pool marketing situation is an expensive situation like i saw nyashinski at one point had a billboard pale corner house chao that's pool marketing na understand eh yeah, jua nyashinski is where expect at ali ali toka akaenda kachukua unaona akaenda akachukua uba akapeleka round ngoma yake yale cheza pool marketing but alikuwa na dual kwa matoka maju so anaweza pool your stand lakini wewe kama msanii wewe eh wewe kama msanii mpya it's crazy yeah so yeah. people need to understand where you are what do you have what resources do you have at your hand like uko na nini kwa mkono unaweza tumia nini eh yeah. otherwise kanyaga mgu kama sisi kama kitambo and you will back the 90% of the time uta succeed ukitumia nje yetu ya kitambo uta succeed kwa sababu utapeleka ngoma yako kwa radio station live live naona watakuambia aiko ama iko ama unatafuta connection unaingiza kwa radio station still radio is still big in media right now people don't know tv unapeleka kwa tv station tv is still big si kila mtu ana code kwa kwa internet unaona you yeah. mtu atumie tu traditional marketing na atafika hapo pale anafika kwa sababu hata hata one last thing ya hata shin city so wewe si una billboard za shin city mm eh you need traditional marketing oh, ange ange decide basi ange ange, ange push online peke yake afanye nini alipe ad kwa instagram ad alafu a push show wacha nena una understand mm. but hakufanya yeah. hivyo in fact hakufanya hivyo at all at all in fact hakufanya hivyo at all in fact walienda kwa ground it was ground work kwa ground wale ka billboards walifanya nini walifanya everything kwa ground and that is the you always go wrong na kitu sha work kitu sha work before always go wrong na hizi ma traditional hizi traditional marketing ni vitu tumeona zifanya blue band zime sell omo zime sell every other thing zime sell unaona hii digital marketing is a new fit that we are still trying to understand all of us everybody is yeah. trying to understand digital marketing so mwenye na bahati na digital marketing hiyo ni afueni mungu amemsaidia unaona but there can advise people to go back to the ground get people find them they are still here kina dj nani wako hapa ni dj that this new dj is already done now eh de makufu yeah wako bado eh wako de makufu yuko tafuta na de makufu atakusaidia kama yeye amefanya the same same thing tulifanya na ameshika eh tafuta na de makufu bas hivyo ndo mimi na zambia mtu eh tukimalizia umesema kama kinarudi na itakuwa mbaya sawa unaweza ambia wasee kani album ama umepanga tu maybe tukai masingo singo nini ah uh, yeah. nataka nataka ikuwe project hizi kai hizi siku zote kama miaka kama 10 na sina content eh hey, pia mimi pia mtanibeba baya unaona yeah. so facts yeah facts so the facts on file man say i'm giving i'll give you a body of work a body of work at least unajua kama msiaja kula siku 10 uweze mpatia mkate nusu na na, na kikombe ka chai expect kuna kitu msaidia unaona yeah. unaona vile ushaona vile vile vile, vile waislamu fungua ya Ramadhan yeah. eh spia yeah. idi eh so that's what we are talking about it's going to be fire eh chakula mapocho pocho huku kama kio kupaka hii pande huku huku pilao nazi nini my friends eh waliwadaku ah la 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 <laughs> yeah like it is we try to make it grand it will be all in humility mungu atamsaidia in good time Yeah, tutaweza kuifanya eh so tunajaribu tu we are we're right now ama 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 market and all so i know everything has to have a propagate unajua propagate eh una understand eh stack tumia english kubwa kubwa hata kama fans wangu wanielewe kila kitu lazima ifanywe properly yeah ndio eh kila kitu lazima kuwa propagated eh thank you so much yani kutupatia time yako na the album of course bado lazima tuishabikie so thank you so much yani for yeah, yeah, time yeah 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 one last thing eh yeah i want to add i want to add kenyans eh come come out and support your own yeah if, if you don't support me this calligraph jones if you don't support calligraph this stuff understand but support mtu wako kwa na mtu wako unaona support support this person unajua one time um mtu atakuwa anatoa kitu atakuwa like for example me if i come up with a csr 
for example, uh, someone was telling me, Jizie, come up with a CSR on mental health. Yeah? yeah. If I come up with a CSR on mental health and you're my supporter and you always come to my shows, that means the money you give me is the money I will put in this CSR. No, no. So if I put this money on this initiative, probably unapata indirectly ukona relative mwenye pia yakona mental health issues. That's how the money to giving back to the society. That's how it works. If you don't support me, I'll not even have money to support you directly or indirectly. You understand? So we need to support yeah. each other, then it will work out. Yeah. So that's my last word, the car Kenyans. Let's let's know that this industry is ours. See industry are nameless, see industry our who, see industry our money, the industry yet to see sea water. Let's work on it. Now, once Tashika Tashika see water, Utaona benefit. Utaona kama saizi, Utaona kama. It was so much fun for guys to watch Nashinsky do the Shin City. It was a proud moment for us Kenyans. But if we support, we'll have how many of those